Kelly Slater has priority now. And Dino start at 2.5. Rolling into this peak down the line is Ryan Kalanen. Big backhand hack. Inside wedge cornering towards the beach. She'll end up going down on the finish. So Potts, you can see right there how shallow it gets on that inside corner. It's kind of, sometimes you get lucky and it feels smooth, and then your next step is really sharp. So you gotta really be light on your feet on the inside. If it gets bigger, I mean, he's gonna be absolutely deadly. Here comes Kelly on his opener. Speeding through that first section, flowing down the line, hard off the bottom, throws the fins, and controls it. And now a little inside ball, he'll just play with it. Gets a little head dip and gets out of there. Anyone's better than him, but uh, look at the flow that he gets going on this little wave here. Nice and fast, that board looks free. And again, just uh, goes to the air, throws the fins out, doesn't quite get the full rotation. And then finishes off with a nice little head. Karamas, we take a look at this attempt. Oh, just tried to grab. Kalanen showed how deadly the, the backhanders are at all the venues on tour, even at Winky Pop, he was very strong at Big Bells. Here's Kelly. Big hack on the first section, flowing down the line, ramping up for the reverse. Cool transition. <laughs> he is in sync with the rhythm of the ocean today. Let's have a look here as he takes off on a pretty small wave. But the thing that impresses me is the amount of water that gets displaced. Um, and then just for good measure, gets into that and continues with the balance. A little bit off balance. That was a, a good wave there from Kelly Undino up and running. Below a big power gouge, blew the tail out, punching the fins free into the forehand reverse. What a deadly combination of major moves. And, and Dino, nice deep bottom turn, beautiful slashing maneuver, and then into that air reverse combo. And Kolohe just had a couple of tough years where he got knocked in round two. There's the carving three wow. from Kelly Slater. Wraps that deep, and he's got a little wave showing up to finish, and he'll whip that turn right into the white water and complete it. One of those specialty maneuvers. Well, look here as he comes up the bottom. Nice deep bottom turn, and just keeps that momentum going. Probably one of the more difficult maneuvers to produce, um, if you've ever tried one. Let's have a look at it again. As he goes into that beautiful wrapping maneuver, but yeah. So what, what happens with Kelly is like, I've seen him do this at Bell's Beach. Seen something like that so far today? We haven't seen that in a lot of events. Right. It's a rare maneuver performed, but it's uh, always a treat to watch. Callanan in motion. There's the vertical hack. Deep off the bottom, sets it up vertically again. And now I'm just down carving the inside corner. So picking off a wave with a bit more wall on it. And Ryan just uh, needing a small score to take the lead off Kelly. Low score, 3 one seven at the moment. Very tough to beat. Let's have a look. First turn just gets up that speed to get around the section. Now he starts to go to town. Gets that nice drift off that first maneuver. Carves it on the second maneuver. Straight up through the lip on the third one. So showing that variety on the backhand, which is a very difficult thing to do. Especially when you're, like Ryan's not a small guy either. Quite tall, but very loose, very supple, very agile as he comes around this section here. Watch the, the mix up as he does the first turn. We'll see him bash it and then let the fin slide right there out the back. Variety is part of the judging criteria. So you've got to really mix it up. There is more of a carving maneuver and then draws really deep off the bottom and jams it nice and vertical. So three completely different maneuvers on one wave. The judge is gonna love that. I'm seeing another great score for Ryan get locked in. Still working with his coach, Richard Dog Marsh, a longtime CT competitor. Arcal up again. There's the wind up, fin throw, reverse, hangs on. One big radical tail throw. And to do that backside, the way he does it, upside down and inverted, is incredible. Let's have a look here as he comes up the bottom and jams it in the pocket. I mean, how was the body position on that right there? 
And with priority, Palohe's going to let this go. Kelly's going to try to get out of the force here. Flying down the line, there's a big tail high reverse. Going to the air, getting a little bit stuck in transition. Uh, Kelly's rail game is as good as anyone's. A little air right there, spins it around. And then this wave kind of didn't really cooperate, kind of broke into two, a little bit of a double up section on it. But uh, let's have a look at the air here from Kelly. Good pop. Nice rotation. Lands backwards and then uh, and then spins around. So it would have been better to get a little bit more rotation into that maneuver. I think maybe that's probably what hurt that score just a little bit. Let's have a look. We'll get back to that after this wave from Kalohe. And Dino though throws the nose pick reverse. Picks up some board speed for the climb. Wraps it. He's got a little low road that he's going to get involved with here as it's bending towards the beach. We'll just fill in the last part of the way with a quiet little float and a wrap, but he's looking in form. First turn was explosive. Yeah, absolutely. I think that's his, his strength right now. Kolohe throws it up, spins it back around, standing right up the nose of the board. That was critical stuff from Andino, and then milked it all the way through. So this could definitely be a, uh, of the 3.2 that he's looking for to get him up into the top two. For me, Kelly needs to just get back on the rail again, do what Conan did. This is the Corona Bali Protected here at Karamas, called the most high-performance venue on tour, meaning you can do anything you want. When you ride a wave here, you already start with a lot of speed. You got some power coming from deep water over that shallow shell. Good question, Strider, for Potts, says uh, Kelly has every record you could imagine. 55 championship tour wins. He's uh, given us highlight reel moments at every venue on tour for over three decades. He's had more than one perfect heat in his career. The most of all time. Big blasting carve off the top for Kelly. Big open face hook to tail release off the bottom. He'll bust the fins out and controls it through that real shallow part of the wave. Let's have a look at this turn here from Kelly. Nice setup work here, and oh my gosh, look at that. Beautiful, beautiful hook right in the pocket. Speed, power, and flow. That's what we want to see, mixing it up with a bit of a slide on that last maneuver, and then just kicks the tail out. What do you think about that, ladies and gentlemen? That was a, an incredible wave there from Kelly Slater. This first turn, searing maneuver. Perfect timing, perfect positioning in the pocket. No catching, no drag, no mistakes whatsoever. Super clean. And then finishes with a nice little reverse at the end. His best wave so far. Did he just hear what I was talking about? He's listening to you, Potts. Here comes Arkal, who goes over the handlebars. Yeah, I mean, Kelly's got to work on his strengths, Joe. And I think, um, you know, at this stage of his career, learning all those new moves. I mean, he's got the air game. He does the alley hoops and the air reverse and all that stuff. But they just... They kind of look like everyone else's, whereas Kelly's front side looked like he just did on that last wave. And he just kept showing them more and more and more until he would shut down the final. Now I think they're forcing him to show them everything he's got in the opening heat. Playing with this wave through the inside is Kelly. Nice clean top turn arc for the roundhouse. Board's looking clean. Yeah. Shaped by his good friend, Akila Ipa. Given us so many different versions of performing at Karamas. 30 seconds, and Dino still second. Needing a 5 4 4 for Kelly's lead. A huge frontside carve in Kelly's face. Let's have a look at Andino's way. Comes off the bottom, nice deep low bottom turn. Beautiful steering maneuver right in front of Kelly. Arcal, big vertical. Recovers on the second move. The low road already showing up on the shallow section, and he's got to fight for the finish. Remember, Ryan was fighting for Kolohe's spot. Both surfers getting a final wave in. Whew, well, I'm thinking that Kelly's still going to win the heat. So we wait for the scores to come through. Kolohe now on the beach, threw down that really solid frontside arc, and it looks like his score's coming through. He had a 6-2-3, low score of the 5.0. Ryan Callanan, 5 6 7 and his 5 right at the end of the heat. Looking like Kolohe saving his spot in second, moving on to the round of 32, right behind Kelly Slater.